Hello, my name is Katarina Eliashova and I work uh, as a public affairs and communications manager for Coca-Cola in the Czech and Slovak Republics. Today uh, this video is supposed to guide you through our brief on uh, zero waste activation and I'm really looking forward to collaborating with so many uh, talented students and to get your fresh ideas. What is the background of this brief? Globally, during every hour an estimated 900 metric tons of plastic waste remain unsorted and pollute the environment and 8 to 10 percent of that are plastic bottles and plastic caps. As Coca-Cola is one of the major producers of soft beverages and part of the production comes out in a PET uh, packaging, we indeed want to be part of the solution. And that is why uh, we prepared and uh, published our World Without Waste vision more than one year ago. Its ultimate goal is to collect and recycle a bottle or a can for every one that we sold before 2030. This target is to be achieved by many local activities in all the markets where we operate. And we focus basically on three pillars, on designing new light PET bottles, on making waste collection more effective and on partnering with uh, local governments and NGOs on local waste management solutions. This brief comes from Czech and Slovak republics and that is why I would like to summarize sort of the Czech and Slovak reality on waste management. You, in your uh, solutions and activations proposals, indeed can focus on different countries around the world, but it's always necessary to understand what is the reality and waste management issues in your country. So, in the Czech Republic, uh, the collection rate is relatively high. We are above 70 percent, but in Slovakia at only 45 percent of collection. Coca-Cola is a proactive partner in both countries in local waste management process. We are part of industrial and governmental dialogues, but still the perception of the company remains as one of the biggest polluters rather than a company participating in a problem solution. In different markets there are different ways how they activate uh, zero waste uh, plants uh, as Coca-Cola. For example, uh, the coastal countries uh, focus on marine litter collections. Uh, in the landlocked countries uh, there exist uh, zero waste activations uh, in music festivals at schools and the major objective of such campaigns is reducing waste generation, reducing the environmental impact uh, of all events that we organize and to educate consumers on how to better collect. So what is the purpose of this uh, campaign? We want to increase uh, the corporate reputation for the local Coca-Cola company through a meaningful local activation creating beha behavioral change in collecting habits, giving second life to collected PETs, and introducing Coca-Cola as proactive leader of waste problem solution. This is not supposed to be a brand activation, but a Coca-Cola company activation. So Coca-Cola is the critical brand, uh, but it's not about Coca-Cola product. Uh, actually, it uh, aims to be beyond the brand activation. What is your task for this brief? We expect you to prepare a local or regional long-term campaign for the zero waste activation. And this should solve specific difficulties and gaps of waste collection 
in an engaging, inspiring way, which will be credible for Coca-Cola. You can include events, educational campaigns, digital activations, collection events, in, and a broad scope of communication channels. You can choose a region, but please be aware that uh, we are focused on landlocked areas. We are not looking for solutions uh, in marine litter collection. When thinking about your proposals, we prefer simplicity over complicated solutions. And we would like to ignite change and sharing. And uh, to add credibility, it's always good to, to have partnerships, not to initiate it as only a Coca-Cola system. So think about partnerships and possible uh, stakeholders to involve. So what is the desired response we want to get? Um, it's positive consumer response, first of all, which means participation in the activation, social media coverage and traditional media coverage. Then we would like to stakeholders to recognize this activation and Coca-Cola as key part of it. And then we would like to be able to track and measure uh, the specific environmental impact. So if it's possible, please include waste collected, uh, measuring, awareness raised, uh, tracking and all the possible systems to uh, track the results. What is the duration of the project? We aim to have a scalable project for three years, but please focus uh, primarily on the first year activations and indicate what would be the scaling for next two years. The budget will be discussed according to the quality of the proposal, but uh, it's good to understand that uh, we have the possibility to uh, get some uh, submission from the Coca-Cola Foundation, which is a global foundation supporting environmental and sustainable projects uh, around the world. So the realistic budget to start with is about uh, 30,000 euro, but uh, we can reach uh, maybe even 80,000 euro in the case that the submission for Coca-Cola Foundation will be approved. Thinking about the communications plan for the proposal, please use a broad scope of communication channels, both traditional and digital media. So, what do we want to get from you? Uh, first, the demonstration that you clearly understood the business problem in your region, in your country, for which you prepare the activation. We need to have a clear consumer insight and uh, that insight should drive the consumer behavior ch change in waste collection or the way how they collect uh, waste in their daily lives. And we want to see your strategic thinking to meet Coca-Cola's business and marketing needs. Please don't forget to include your recommended choice of media, both offline and online channels, and your campaign proposal, which indeed doesn't need to be fully finalized in terms of visual proposals, but we would like to see uh, creative ideas which are easy to understand. We received some questions uh, on you based on the brief and we would like to clarify them as much as possible. So the first question was about the region or uh, local activation uh, scope. Uh, as mentioned, we are operating here in the Czech and Slovak markets, but you can use this as an example for your local activities proposal. What we would like you to uh, follow is that the uh, region you think about is a landlocked uh, region, so that there is a certain similarity between our Czech and Slovak reality and your solution. 
Another question was on the budget. Uh, that 30,000 euros seems uh, unrealistic for such a high aiming activation. Um, as I try to explain, there is the possibility to use uh, Coca-Cola Foundation submission for a good uh, project if we have such a proposal. So there is uh, some flexibility and we indeed plan to try to uh, get the submission in the next years. Another question was on how what is the status of finished creative ideas? Uh, we don't expect you to uh, develop full visuals or storyboards, but we need you to be able to explain what is the storyline of your creative proposal. Uh, another one, if the campaign is meant for Coca-Cola brand or different brands from Coca-Cola portfolio. No, it's a corporate activation. So always keep in mind that it's Coca-Cola company with all its portfolio behind this activation. You also notice that uh, in some of the examples that we shared, we collaborated in different countries with local NGOs, non-governmental organizations. And the question is if it's a mandatory partnership. It's not mandatory, but for the sake of the project, it's very good to have an external partner as a local relevant NGO. And the last question I've got is uh, if there is a focus on specific uh, generation of consumers like Generation Z. So basically not, because uh, indeed uh, for uh, collect collection and waste recycling we would like to uh, work with a broad uh, scope of consumers, but uh, we indeed appreciate uh, if it's really relevant for the consumers, let's say from 15 to 30 years. So the younger generation, but not uh, such narrow scope as Generation Z. I wish you good luck in thinking and working on our brief and uh, we really look forward that as Coca-Cola we will be able to work together with you and we will meet in some boot camps and if you have more questions or you need more clarification please don't hesitate to approach us. We are here for you.